John Ozick, and I usually go with my accreditations behind my name. Um, basically means I love flowers. I got my degree, I went to Purdue University, um, got an engineering degree and a supervision degree. I'm a floral designer for the lack of a, um, a title, so to speak, but I think it's so much more than that. I mean, it, it goes from um, working with floral, working with elements and products that we normally in the floral industry do not actually say our floral products with wires and beads and wallpaper paste and all sorts of really fun stuff. I took every class I could take. I went to every convention I could do. Um, I just really kind of like saturated myself with as much education and knowledge as I possibly could. And lo and behold, quit GM. My parents said, you're going to do what? <laughs> um, so I quit GM and opened the flower shop. You'll see a lot of the, to me, when I talk about principles and elements, there's line, space, form, texture, pattern, size. Those elements all apply to floral or building. It's just a different media that we play with. Design, to me, is it's all interpretive. Each time you do it, it's gonna be a little different. There may be a flower head that changes this way. You may have a, a, a branch or a wire. It's never gonna be identically the same. So what happens to me a lot of times, I visually see it done. Because I, I, for myself, someone gives me something, I visually see it done almost immediately. You get to a point when you start putting these pieces together that you're like, oh my God, that's really cool. You start getting, I, as goofy as it sounds, I start getting excited about it. I'm excited about the whole concept, but when you start putting it together and like, oh my God, that's really cool. Or the other part is because I get a little distracted, I may think of another tangent that starts happening. Oh, I could do this or I could do that or I could, I really take it to a different level. Nature and its form, because if you, if you look at line and form, I look at a tree and I was, I was talking to him, we were laughing in the car on the way there. I said, look at that tree, doesn't it? It's like, Arr! it's just all gnarly and just kind of, you can just see that they have emotion. So nature and its rawest form to me is what inspires me. And, but I mean, the main inspiration is spiritual for me. The big guy upstairs um, gives me the talent, gives me the art, gives me the, the, the ideas to play. I've been on the academy team for the last 10 years. And um, satisfaction, I mean, you do big bombs. And that's honestly, their filler flowers are roses. So if you're doing an arrangement and you do 300 roses for the filler, you can imagine like a ginormous amount of value this is. But um, the people, the energy, you're working as one collective team. I've met a new family. And to me, that means almost more than anything because it really is a, um, it feels awesome. It really feels awesome. And I think that's, we're here along the path of life to help each other. And a lot of times we, uh, we run fast, other times we drag somebody with us. I love what I do and every day that I can go to play um, is a blessing. <laughs>